morning lovers and welcome to weekly vlog 25 yes i am still in bed and yes it is like 20 past one but last night was obviously a late night it was new year i hope you all had a wonderful new year welcome to 2017 i really need to go get some lunch i'm really hungry i had breakfast well i had a green tea can't really call that breakfast that's probably why i'm hungry um so i need to go get some lunch i'm thinking a toasty because i haven't had a toasty in a really long time and i really really fancy a toasty but i've had a really good morning and if 2017 continues how my morning has been I'm really looking forward to this year. I spent this morning talking to friends, talking on Twitter to other bloggers and YouTubers, and one of my favourite videos went live at 12pm. If you haven't watched it, I will link it somewhere up here. You have to go and watch it. It is my brother commentates my everyday makeup, and it's probably one of the funniest videos I've ever put up. I'm so proud of it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so if you haven't watched it, seriously go watch it just need to prepare myself for 2017 now i don't know you'll probably think i'm really weird but on the first of january every year i like to like reorganize everything so i just tidy everything i have a massive clean out i start writing in my diary for the new year and yes i like to plan everything twitter's going crazy right now so that is what i'm going to do today but first i need to go have some lunch also my year started with this little bumpkin yes I should probably also get dressed. Look at this little girl. <laughs> she looks so comfortable. So comfy. Look at that angle of her, can you see? <laughs> Say hello. Thank you, Perrin. Kisses on the camera. Look how red my face is. I just had the most relaxing bath ever. Look, all the bubbles have gone, but I did have bubbles in there. But I have my little candle on, which says, bless this place with family and friends. And then I have my bubble bath, which was from... A company called Kind Natured. This and a candle actually were part of my Christmas present from my manager Hannah. I don't know if I've mentioned that to you before. Um, the candle is sweet vanilla and it's absolutely amazing. Like one of my favourite scents. And the rubber bath is incredible. Relax. And I just get out and I fit my comfy slipper socks on and some fresh pyjamas. And I'm about to change my pyjama top because this needs washing. So I'm going to put this one in the wash and put a different one on. And continue on my relaxed day. Um, I was editing Instagram pictures in the bath. I'm determined this year to grow all of my social media channels, so my Twitter and my Instagram, as well as my YouTube. I'm going to try and focus on all of them. So yeah, I'm trying to be organised and get loads of pictures like pre-edited and just ready to go whenever I want to post Instagram pictures. I've got one there and it's just ready. So that's my plan this year. But let me know what you got up to on the 1st of January. Was yours like mine? Was it a relaxed 1st of January? Did you go to the gym? What did you do? Did you continue eating ridiculous amounts of food, still left over from Christmas? <laughs> Let me know what you got up to, but mine has 100% been relaxed, but focusing on the future and my goals and starting how I mean to go on. The feedback and love that I have received on today's two videos has been amazing. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you for your support on those videos and I have had such a good start to my 2017. I know it's just one day, but it's been a good day. And that's nice to have such a good start to a year, I think. Long may it continue, and I hope 2017 is a good year for all of you, not just me. I hope you all work hard towards your goals and you succeed with them. Roast dinner and Sherlock. Perfect way to end one of the perfect days. Good morning my lovely ones, uh, looking a little bit more presentable than I did yesterday. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you my lipstick, I bought it last week, it was really hard not to like, vlog about it last week, but I spent some of my Christmas money, it's obviously a Charlotte Tilbury, but it is pink, no, Penelope pink, and it's literally like my perfect nude, it's amazing, there you go, um, and it's not a matte, like I went in and I was like I want a nude, but 
all the nudes I tend to go for are mattes, so they're quite drying. And I want one that I can literally kind of put on, throw on, and forget about it. And almost like wear it like a lip balm as such, so that, yeah, so it moisturises as well as looks pretty. Um, I have to say the girl at the Charlotte Tilbury counter in John Lewis was not helpful whatsoever. But I managed to find this one myself. <laughs> and I'm literally in love with it. It's so pretty and it's so moisturising and it lasts so long. And it's so easy to put on and it's just... I'm in love with it, but yeah, I really wanted to show you that last week, but I wasn't vlogging, so I couldn't, so I've done it now. Good evening, just come to Tesco to get some dinner. These are all reduced for a pound, so we've picked like one up each. So it's Christmas here, right? You go in here. Ready? You ready for this? You ready? Uh, it's Easter here. There's like Easter eggs. Sorry, what? It is not Easter. Literally, Christmas has just ended. Look. So, yeah. It's now Easter. Now Easter. How do you feel about that? Not great. Too much chocolate. Not great. I'm meant to be hoovering, but I really want to tell you my funny story from this morning. So, this morning, I got up for work, like normal. Nothing new there. This lighting's beautiful. Um, yeah, nothing new there. And then it was freezing, like so cold. It's been freezing in the UK, like for the last couple of weeks. And I went out to my car, went to try and get in my boot and my boot was frozen shut. And I tried like so hard to open my boot. It just wasn't happening. And I was like, screw it. I will just get in it when I get to the car park and put my stuff in the boot then. Um, and then I started to drive off, got halfway down the road and it was like, your boot is open. So like the flashy light came up. I was like, oh my God, like I cannot open this boot to save my life. Uh, what if I leave it, like get halfway down the road and it flies open and I don't know. So, so I'm gonna have to try. So I stopped <laughs> and in the middle of the road, there was me literally full body weight hanging off of the boot of my car trying to open it. But because it's a convertible, it opens like this way, so it opens down, if that makes any sense. So I was literally hanging off of the boot of my car to try and open the door. I finally did it, but whoever, or if ever, any if anyone saw me doing it, that would have been pretty hilarious start to their morning, because it's not every day you see a 25-year-old woman literally hanging off the boot of their car to try and open it. My boot has never done that, that is how cold it has been recently. That's my um, funny story, although it's probably a should have been there moment and you're like, that's not a funny story Cara, like shut up, but I found it quite funny so I thought I would share it with you. Leftover bolognese, which looks gross but tastes amazing, crunchy for lunch and I just spent some of my Zara voucher that I got for Christmas. Um, life is good right now. Yes it is. Oh my goodness, Daniel's on a night out and he's just sent me this. So jealous, that's a white chocolate fondant. Heaven, literally. Heaven. Um, I thought I'd show you what I got from Zara. Also, I have a fish finger sandwich for dinner. Are you jealous? So I got, so I got. No, I can't talk to you. So I actually went into Zara on New Year's Eve. 99 stars of soft ice cream. Are you kidding me? Where even is he? Anyway, I'll worry about that in a second. Um, I went into Zara on New Year's Eve because I wanted a new top to wear for New Year's Eve. And I've picked up this one. It's like just a plain grey, loose fitted t-shirty type top with a little pocket. But the reason I got this is because, oh my goodness, it's literally the softest thing I've ever felt in my life like it's so soft and it's really thick as well and it's quite heavy so it hangs really really nicely so I wore this with my blue jeans and it was only 15 99 and I loved it so much that yesterday when Daniel's dad gave me a Zara voucher for Christmas which was really sweet of him by the way I was like I'm gonna get it in another color so that's what I did today I got it in this oat mealy color because I thought that would be really nice with like black jeans. I can wear the grey one with blue jeans. I can wear this one with black jeans. Um, there was another like a darker grey one. But um, I was like I wear a lot of dark colours. Like I wear, I have to wear black to work. So I wear black all the time at work. And I always go for like dark greys and navies when I'm out of work. So I was like nope. This year I'm going to start wearing lighter colours. So I got the oatmeal one. So yeah. They're only 15 99 If you're ever in Zara. 
they're in the tf is it called tfl that section they're in that bit anyway upstairs seriously go and feel them <laughs> they're like the softest tops you've ever seen in your life i need to have another bite of my fish finger sandwich i look really weird i feel like i look really weird anyway firstly i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but i curled my hair this morning and burnt my hands so bad. I'm gonna try and show you, hang on. So, if it will focus on my hand, there's that, which is the worst bit. Then I've got blister there, and then I've got two like really red bits on these two fingers. It really hurt, and they were really stinging this morning. Like, I was actually really glad it was so cold because my hands were cold and it stopped them from stinging. And secondly, blue nails. I don't wear blue nails, like, ever. I can't see because I don't think I could. Okay, this camera, seriously, that's my dinner. Um, I don't think I could, but turns out I can wear navy blue. How nice are they? I love it. It is a blue sky polish, and it's one that I got for one of my secret Santas. I love it. So now I know I can wear dark blue nails without looking dead. I have decided to have a... <laughs> Bubble bath tonight. My day off tomorrow and myself and Chris are going on a little road trip which I will vlog so you will see where we're going, why we're going, everything like that. Well you probably already know we're going to look at a car for him, another one, yes. Um but I like going on road trips like that like as much as I like don't know how cars work, I really like cars but I don't understand them. Okay, I like nice cars <laughs> so I'm gonna go with him. To go look at it, but I've decided. My little kitty's just gone on the window. So. Hi. She's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna have a bubble bath and just chill, and have an early night. I think because I'm pretty pooped. I'm pretty tired. But only two more work days until a week off. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. To have a week off, there is a spider in my room. Mm. I'm maybe getting someone to remove that while I'm in the bath. And my Christmas flowers are dead. I'm really bad at keeping flowers alive. <laughs> Would you like to explain where we're going? We're going to Derby to have a look at a car. And we did this almost exactly 12 months ago. Was it really a year ago? End of February, we're now All I know is that last time it was cold as well. Yes, it was end of February last time. Now it's beginning of January and I'm getting another car. Well, I'd like to get another car. We're going to have a look at one and yeah. hopefully we'll come away with it this afternoon. Yeah, and if he does come away with it this afternoon, I get to drive this home. <laughs> Which I'm slightly excited about. It's partly the only reason I'm going. <laughs> wow, this is really great lighting. Um, I don't want to put it up because the sun is so bright. Maybe we don't vlog here. Mm. Just quickly, we're like 20 minutes away, I think, and Chris has said that we can look at Range Rovers for me too, although I'm never ever gonna get one, <laughs> probably not, but it's like one of my dream cars, so we're gonna have a look at those as well, just so I can say I've sat in one. But you can't see me right now because the sun is so bright, I really wish I brought my sunglasses with me because this eye, my left eye, keeps watering so bad. Like, my eyes are so sensitive to the light, it's so annoying. But the sun is so low, as you can tell, like, from how bright it is in here right now. But yeah, just thought I'd update you, but I will talk, I would have talked more, but you can't see me, so no point. Hmm? But it's also really cold and really quiet in here. <laughs> I want one of these. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> this is what Chris really wants. The F-type. This is what I want. One of these. I want one of these. Oh no, this is awkward where the salesperson's come over while I'm just filming. Oh, you can't see in it. Great. I think it's going to take it for a test drive, so I can't go. Me again on Cara's channel. We've come out to Derby and I may have done a thing. 
uh, replacing that SLK250 with this, as it says as he holds the camera, uh, AMG C350. So going from two-seater convertible to four-seater coupe. A bit more practical and a bit more powerful, but we're going from black to white, basically. Slightly bigger and, like I say, slightly more powerful with uh, nice... Oh, I'll bring you down. Uh, some black alloys on it as well. It looks really nice actually. It uh, still needs a valet etc. So we're not we're not bringing it home tonight We're gonna have to come back and uh, and collect it again next week, but I'm pretty happy with it So I'll probably on my channel be doing a my new car type video as youtubers tend to do when they buy a new car so uh, I'm sure Cara will link to that etc on her social media when that happens But yeah, I have uh, I've done a thing Topping my two-seater Mercedes for a four-seater Mercedes. We're in McDonald's now. I've literally, our McDonald's in Cambridge has just had a refit and this is the first time I've come in. This is probably the poshest McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. Like, you order your own food like on these machines, so you don't even talk to a person and you can get table service, so we've just come and sat down and they're gonna bring their food to us and they've got one of those air charge things. What's going on? McDonald's isn't it's a proper crap restaurant. anymore, yeah. The actual service. Yeah, and um, then I'm driving the SLK home from here because they're picking the car up next week. I'm home, if you can't tell, and I've just filmed a video, so I've been very productive since I've got home. It's now nine o'clock, and I'm going to attempt to edit this video, not this one, the one I've just done, and then start editing the vlog because you may notice now it went live at 6 p.m. the vlog because I'm out for the next two days. So today's Thursday and I'm out tomorrow night and also Saturday night so I'm not gonna have a chance to vlog anything. Not vlog anything, I'm gonna have a chance to vlog. I'm not gonna have a chance to edit any of the vlog in time for it to go up at 12 p.m. So it's going up at 6 p.m. this weekend, which you now know. So I, I always do this, I always tell you things and I'm like, you're already gonna know because it's already happened. Anyway. I need to go edit the vlog, but I'm going to put all of this, not the vlog, yeah, well I will. Oh my goodness, I really need to go to bed. <laughs> it's been a long day. I need to put all of this stuff away, my light and everything, my camera's down there. And then edit for the next, like, maybe hour and a half. Yeah, I'll do that. I've just realised, while putting stuff away, all I have eaten today is McDonald's. That's literally it. That's all I ate. So might go make myself a little snack, something healthy um, to eat while I edit. Because that is not good. That is really not good. I'm in love with Ed Sheeran's new songs, mainly Cuffs on a Hill. That's like my favourite. Like the lyrics for that song are so beautiful. Like I have missed Ed Sheeran. I love his music so much so much. Well, my lunch break, I've just had a tuna melt from Costa, so I always treat myself today. Look at this spot. Ah. Um, so yeah, I just got that from Costa. This is probably not a good angle. You cannot see me. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna sit here because it's comfortable. Um, yeah, just having a green tea. And that's it really. Today's going really quickly, which is really nice. And then I'm going to Daniel's tonight because we're going for dinner tomorrow night with friends. It's just easier for me to stay, this is weird, easier for me to stay at his tonight and then him bring me into work tomorrow morning and pick me up and blah, 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 because I think we're, they live in Cambridge, so. I'm going out with Paul and Lucy, the people that I house sat for and cat sat for in the summer, if you remember that, if you were here with me at that point. So yeah, we're going out for dinner with them tomorrow. I don't know where we're going actually yet. I will let you know when I know. I may take you along with me, I may not. It may be a little bit awkward. I might do. <laughs> Nothing else to update you on. I just really wanted to share with you that I really like Ed Sheeran's new songs. If you haven't listened to them, go and listen to them because they are beautiful songs. But like they're really different to his like original sound, but I really like it. Castle on a Hill is definitely my favourite though.
I'm gonna learn all the lyrics to it. <laughs> Good morning. We are super early into work today because Dan just brought me in because we're going out. I explained this yesterday. Um, so we have come to the Regal, which is the Spoons, to have breakfast. And I got eggs Benedict, although I was meant to say eggs Royale, but that's fine. I'll just have ham instead of salmon. And what have you got? Breakfast wrap. <laughs> breakfast wrap, which is, what's it got in it? Like sausage and egg and stuff? Yep. <coughs> Bit of everything. It looks good. And we have tea, although have you got coffee? <coughs> although Dan has coffee. Look at the spot, by the way. It really hurts. It's like that hard stage where it's like waiting to pop. TMI. <laughs> but yeah, good way to start the day. On your last day at work before we got just finished editing the vlog and realised that I didn't end it because I did film some bits last night but I watched them back and I'm like I can't use them and also I know Paul and Lucy didn't really want to be filmed so yeah there's nothing else I should have really just ended the vlog on Thursday let's be honest because I pretty much failed the last two days at vlogging um we went to Strad last night and had some yummy food and then we went to a really cool like really quirky bar called Danny's Danny's I think, is it? No. Maybe. Let me double check. Darry's. Not Danny's. And just had some cocktails there. And then we just went back to theirs and kind of reminisced on 90s. Our childhood music. And had a proper good, like, karaoke sing song. But I do have a headache today. So, I'm going to end the vlog. And I think you should all give it a thumbs up just to make my headache slightly more bearable and leave me a comment and let me know how your first week back at work was after christmas do you have the january blues i'm actually all right i'm doing good <laughs> also i'm really interested to see how this vlog does going up at six instead of 12 interested to see if it like affects views and stuff so i guess we will see but i will see you next week Bye bye